This is the IA Podcast, now giving out reward points. Collect enough to get a slap in the face. Today on the podcast, we talk about Overwatch, of course, again, Sombra's being hinted at in the Summer Games trailer, we talk about Pokemon Sun and Moon, and we talk about Tro, you know, how he's acquired some new hardware, some raid failures, all the Rocket League Rumble updates, some No Man's Sky, and the new Starbound trailer. Well, you know, or just Starbound in general, because that's been out for a while. Stick around, it should be a good one. Hello and welcome to the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast. Today is... What are we today? Today's Tuesday, right? It is Tuesday. August Tuesday 9th. The 9th. August 9th. Yeah, I should probably kind of like have that already like written down somewhere. If I was You need to look podcaster. at your fucking Windows calendar. God. I was going to do that, but my hands were... I was waving my hands wildly in the air, so I couldn't even, you know, by the like time you I just got don't to care. it, just been, it would have been awkward, you know, because I tend to talk a lot with my hands. But anyways, this is <laughs> episode 14. No wonder you're so silent. I know, right? <laughs> I'm just... Honestly, it's like I'm just a French mime. That's really why, what I am. So well, I'm just trying to, like, make out all the things. Quebec. Exactly. Make, make out, out with all the things. Okay. Especially Dude Run, you know, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. And Tro, you know, whenever he's not, you know, in the whole furry mood, so. Uh, Which is never. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you're going to be sore out of luck, man. Uh, furry is much. life, not like a thing that you just choose to be. It's, it's it is a thing a that chooses that you. It's not a that just comes and goes. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like herpes. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I am so waking up my mother with all of my nonsense this morning. Oh, man. So, yeah, um, it is episode 14. We've been doing this for almost Which, 15 episodes. By the way, we need to load episode see. 13 onto the website. <laughs> oh, yeah. I still oh, yeah. Do that. He did upload it, though. It is uploaded. Yeah, it's just it, not it's uploaded up on SoundCloud and YouTube. Yep. Yeah. I watched it. So. Yeah, you Good lazy idea. people who, like, well, that okay, I need to, I'm following. the one who's lazy because I'm not posting it to well, the Well, you IA know site. what, to be fair, it is also my fault because I took, like, two or three days to edit that last episode out. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, God, come on. Brian. I know, I know. It's, it's pretty brutal. What have you got, have you guys been playing any games in the last couple of, like, days or week, even? Yes. What have you been playing? Obviously. What have you been playing? Dude, run. Dude's gonna hurt um, me. Uh, yeah, I am going to hurt you when you when your turn comes around. But I'm a YouTuber, so I play games all the fucking time. <laughs> this is not news. Literally playing a game right now. It's called Life. Yep. The game of life. The board game. Not oh, the like, board game of life. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I actually i I remember when that first when that game first came out on PC, and it was you know it came out for PC. Yeah, like this was back in like 1998, 1997 or something like that. Oh. And that game was so much fun, but my computer would always freeze up or crash it whenever I was playing it. It always happened when I was about three quarters into the game, and it used to piss me off so badly. I thought, like, I, I was like, I think that's why I gave up on PC gaming. Really. For like, you know, until like, I don't know, 2002 or something when I finally made my triumphant return back to PC gaming. But yeah, no, it was a really cool game. It was like really well animated. But yeah, that's the game of life. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what what have you been playing? In, in actuality, I've been playing a game called Default Dan, which is a platformer where all the tropes you'd expect from a platformer like Mario Mm-hmm. Like coins and one ups and all that, those are bad. Oh, really? And yeah, you know they what? Kill the you. funny thing is, it's called Default Dan. Yep. That that kind of reminds me of like Damn It Daniel. I don't know <laughs> if you're familiar with that. Just like just that's the first thing that popped into my head. So apparently, what like coins are bad now? Coins are bad. Money is bad. Uh, certain platforms are bad. Anything that looks like it'd be good is bad, and anything that looks like it would be bad in a traditional platformer is good so spikes make you bounce you want to jump into the lava you want to jump into the lava you want to jump into the pit you want to jump into spikes uh you want to instead of jump on top of an enemy to kill it you want to jump from below it (laughs) okay (laughs) (laughs) and uh fire flowers will kill you but only if you stop moving 
They will kill Sorry. you. If they you will stop. kill you, but if you're if you keep moving, they don't kill you. Okay. It's basically like you're getting a super speed buff that you can't stop moving with. That's insane. And so, what's the what is the aesthetic of this game? Like, what does it look like? And uh, like, it's a two D game with three D generated graphics. Mm -hmm. Not like mo not like three D models like in games like you're thinking of, but like, ah, uh, how do I describe is it? it? Does it have like you the models that? are pre rendered, but it's two D. I see. So it, it so basically. Have you ever played those, like, you know, like the later Mario platformers, how it's kind of like 3D-ish, but it's really 2D side-scroller? Is that sort of what hey, this Yeah, like? pretty much like that. Okay, awesome. Nice. And um, so where can we find this game right now? Steam. Steam. Awesome. What are we looking at here? Like, uh, like $10, I... 15 I want to say around $10. I don't have the price in front of me. All right, nice. Well, yeah, but it's fun. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a fun game. Um, it is. To, gonna have to check that out for sure. Let's see. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's actually six forty nine on the Steam store. Oh, yay! So there you go. That's pretty cool. Thank you to Brian for looking that up for me while yeah. Steam was loading. <laughs> That's funny. I'm watching the videos. Coins are bad. Everything that looks good is bad. So, it yeah, is that true. Is a, that is a pretty fun looking game. Um, and you've made a video of this already. Two videos so far. Okay, I'm gonna have we to got check those three, out. Three actually, but I'm still working. I'm still like making that last one. Awesome. See if you can uh, put a link to of those videos of yours on the description. Okay. Just, so, just so I can check them out, and if anybody else wants to check them out, then you know it'll be easier for them as well, because that looks like a really fun game. Mm hmm. Anything else you've been playing? Uh, Squaz gifted me a game called Slain Back from Hell, which is another platformer kind of game. Feels like Castlevania, but it's supposed to be really, 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 really hard. So yeah. far, I'm having an okay time with it, but I'm, I'm guessing it's supposed to get a lot harder later. Okay, so I'm assuming by the title, this game is a little bit more darker. In oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Blood, gore, demons, and death everywhere. And it's awesome. So you said 2D platform again? 2D platformer, yeah. This okay. time it's actually pixelated and sprite and stuff. Not like cool. default Dan. So very uh, Castlevania-like. Yeah. Awesome. Very lovely death everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the photos of it. This actually looks... Yeah, it looks very cool. It looks very dark, very like, you know, if Diablo had ever been made into a 2D platformer back in the 90s. This it would eventually become a very dark maple story, I, I, <laughs> I am sure. This is what it would, would have looked like. All right, cool. Any videos? Anyway, Shro, what have you been playing? Rocket League. Yeah. How's that going? Not bad, actually. Yeah, I hear there's uh, there's some new stuff coming along too for Rocket League. Yeah, I I mean I think we can come back to that, or maybe this is a good segue for that. I, I don't know. I think it's a good segue. Um, but anyways, one of my my big rules for um going back to Rocket League, I suppose, because if you don't recall that I I rage quit so hard that I rage quit uninstalled the game <laughs> a few months ago. Uh, back yeah around school time ending i don't remember entirely and i actually don't even remember why i did that because i don't think i'd actually lost painfully or something i think i was just finally fed up um but one of my it rules sounded pretty was painful. is that it um i don't have a controller to play rocket league with which pretty much the vast majority of people play with a controller how do you even are still doing that like why would you shut up and let me finish, sir? <laughs> uh, go ahead. The reason I installed again is because as part of my payment for helping him with handyman things, my friend JP has given me a controller. Fine. Now I have a controller. And I actually almost had to return it because it's a kind of older SATEC controller, and it took me about two hours of finagling around on the internet to find something that would actually 
convert the input from these old controllers into the newer X input driver system that Rocket League requires because it's the fancy Xbox, PS4, Rocket, whatever system reader of controllers. That was probably the most profoundly dumb statement I've made in weeks. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, so I have a controller now, and so part of my process whenever I fire up Rocket League is plugging in the controller and trying to learn how to play with the controller. Um, I am so bad with it at the moment that I was making fun of myself with Dude last night that part of my routine is literally like drive in a circle around the map. Do not jump, do not boost, do not power slide, do not do anything. Just drive in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now that you've done that for two minutes, drive in the other direction in the circle. <laughs> so, but then, yeah, I've also kind of come up with some system in my head where uh, I have to, you know, meet certain criteria of being able to beat the computer or beat high-level uh, training challenges uh, with certain levels of e efficiency before I'll even let myself play online. And if I do badly online, then I just have to get relegated back to playing against the computer, because I can at least beat the computer on most days. And this will control my raging a little bit. At least I hope. But we'll see what happens. It may or may not last. I actually kind of also want to get back into World of Tanks again. I haven't played that for probably a month now. And your your account is still inactive, right? Like, it's still locked? No, no, I actually paid for it. I unlocked it. Oh, did you? Um, okay. And I, I've never actually seen the guy that got me fucked over since, too. Even wow. though his account should theoretically be open. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just... I met a dick player that had too many accounts. Apparently, yeah, that's and a he didn't. That's yeah, that is a total shame. Yeah, I'm like, alright. Happy experience, man. Oh, live and learn and all that. Right. So, but yeah, I've, I've kind of missed it. I've been getting emails because the uh, North American contingent of the Wargaming guys that run World of Tanks um, is pretty decent with their email updates and new specials going on. They usually have a lot of, like, bonus weekend stuff where there's not only, like, a new tank or new map or something to try out, uh, but you'll get like double XP or triple XP weekends and stuff like that. So to keep people interested and they have amusing little updates. I'm like, yeah, I should get back into that. But nice. I also have new hardware. Woo, what did you get? Um, well, other than the controller, I now am the proud owner of a Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum mouse. Did you install it yet? No, it's actually still sitting ah. in the box because I've been afraid to open it for like a week. Ha. Um, ha. So, um, yeah. it was actually, I, I don't know if I talked about this before, I've been, my old Rat 7 that I've had for years finally kicked the bucket last year uh, on a separate incident from the computer itself exploding. Um, I think it actually happened before the computer itself exploded. Um... So, I've been borrowing a friend's mouse that he's actually kind of pretty much just perma-loaned me. Um, he doesn't even want it back. But, it's an old little, you know, left-click, right-click, back-click, forward, and mouse wheel mouse. It doesn't really do anything. And it's not weighted, it's not a good sensor, it's, it's old. <laughs> um... So, I've been looking at Logitech for a new mouse, and it was, I really want a mouse that could have just been the, the, the wired components and, like, better buttons and customization of the Proteus 502 that I've got, and the button layout of the 602 that I wanted, which was a wireless mouse, which I don't like why I ended up not getting it. But the 602 actually... You know all those MMO mice? Yeah. That have like a bajillion fucking buttons on them? I, I want a MMO mouse that has like half as many buttons on it. The 602 actually has that. Instead of having literally a dozen or more buttons on the side of it, it only has six. And they're also very differently designed. They're not that like pad format they're actually 
really mm. like triangular angled, so they're really unique to feel each other. Um, so yeah, it's not as overloading, but it's more buttons than you normally get, and so it, it works with like Guild Wars and some of these games that just have a lot of different buttons you can press and kind of run out of button keys. But, so yeah, that was the goal, but believe it or not, the 502 and the 602 actually have the same amount of buttons, they're just in different locations. So, I'm going to see if I can make the 502 work like the 602, and we'll figure it out what happens. I also have a fancy new monitor stand from said JP, so now one of my monitors is on this weird articulated arm thing that I can swing around and make it point in any direction. Oh, nice. So that's kind of cool. That is cool. So, yeah. Um, so, now, yeah. As far as, like, the Rocket League stuff, do we want to get into, like, you know, any of the specifics of the updates? Oh, right. Yeah, I totally sidetracked on that. Um, bad true. Uh So, Rocket League Rumble is what it's called. So what is that about? And I, I had, like, a quick look at it, but nothing, like, I did not retain any information out of it. Um, I'm thinking of it as if Mario Kart and Rocket League had a baby. Okay. Um, you get a bunch of weird, silly, you, you know, Looney Tunes, Acme-style power-ups. Mm -hmm. I don't even... They haven't actually really displayed how you get the power-ups. If you have to, like, run over a box or a booster or something like that, or if you, like, choose it during the game, or if it's just given to you at random, or what happens. Um, but you... The power-ups that are at least listed range from being... Well, I'll just see if I can try to go through the list. There's not too many. Um, you can shoot a plunger at the ball and then drag the ball wherever you want with you. <laughs> um, you can freeze the ball in space and time until somebody hits it. So if it's like in midair at like the perfect aerial and somebody's going for it, you can like freeze it and then they they whip it cuz it stops moving. Um and it even gets like icicles hanging from it, so that's kind of cute. Um you can turn into a giant porcupine basically. You, you your car shoots spikes everywhere and then you can just kind of like impale yourself on the ball and then drag it anywhere. <laughs> Um, there was some sort of, like, magnet option where if you were near the ball, it would, like, heavily influence where it went, like, throwing something magnetic near a magnet. Um, so I guess that would be interesting for, like, interrupting shots on goal. Oh, perhaps the two more silly options is spawning a tornado? on the field that sucks up the ball and cars alike and then follows your car around. That sounds insane. Um, and having a boot on a spring in total Looney Tunes cartoon fashion um, just come out of nowhere and punt your opponent across the map. <laughs> <laughs> so this game has gone completely mental then? For yes, yes, it... It, it went from the, here, let's take all of our physics engine variables and we will allow them to be dialed in any random direction so that, you know, gravity is fucky or the ball is, like, ginormous or super tiny or, like, everything bounces really hard or there's no friction, etc., etc., uh, that is in their mutator slash chaos modes. And now it's like, how can we make this crazier? Okay, let's steal from Mario Kart. <laughs> Though to be fair, I don't think anything they've actually done is truly lifting from Mario Kart, aside from the idea of your cars using silly power-ups. Which sure probably isn't even actually a Mario Kart thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so this is coming out fairly soon. I mean, we're looking at this uh, update coming out next month, September. Uh, yeah, I think so. I want to say start of September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, like, first half of September, if I, if, if I recall correctly. So, that should be fun. Definitely down to try some more Rocket League. 
Um, anything else that you guys wanted to talk about? Like, dude, run. What? Uh, any news that you had in mind? Well, you do have some new Overwatch character hints of sort of sorts. Right. So, to walk me through this. What was the uh, okay? Was the hint? So when when we talked about Anna and Overwatch, uh, when that was revealed, I had, I and a lot of other people thought that Anna was Sombra. This is wrong. Sombra is complete a completely different character from Anna, and Sombra is being hinted at in the Summer Games Overwatch trailer in several points. Uh when Tracer makes her appearance, there's a line of code in her, uh, in the trail she leaves behind when she runs. Mm -hmm. And during the part with Lucio doing his new taunts or whatever, there's a blur of sorts in the background, in his background above one of the goals. I'm going to have to link that now, so I'll be right back. All right. That's pretty fucking nuts. It's pretty well hidden stuff. If I can find the right trailer. Now, this is a trailer that came out like on the official Overwatch account on YouTube. Pretty sure, but it's not coming up. Wait, is this it? I think I found it. Awesome. Yep, I found it. Okay. I'll link it on the uh, notes, but here's the, the thing for everyone else. Currently, she seems to be a uh, stealthy class, I'm assuming. She was also hinted at in the PTR of Overwatch in voice lines of each character saying something along the lines of something doesn't feel right or i know you're there show yourself so stealthy character yeah awesome and um like i mean these are all hints we've gone so far so there's no such thing as like uh, a release date or anything oh well, again hints and stuff and speculation or popping up left and right but uh, the we're all assuming that something will be announced on the 23rd of august so mm. hold the, hold your breath or don't whatever you want to do <laughs> all right all right cool and um yeah can we just talk about like the um the the loot boxes that they have right now like oh yeah how, yeah how basically right now like whenever you open up a loot box you are guaranteed one item from the summer games i uh, yeah. but it seems to be mostly uh player icons and sprays player at first icons, all the player icons for me really yeah same I've for got, me i think i I've think got most... maybe one skin one one or two skins now, now tell me the uninitiated for overwatch uh what is a player icon? Is it just like an avatar thing? It is like yeah, an avatar for your profile. Yeah, got it. So it doesn't really show up. Are you not allowed game. to like submit custom ones? Nope. That's shitty. I yeah, know. It's, yeah, it really does suck. But I mean, that's how all Blizzard games are. Really, you know, it's like whether you're in StarCraft or. Uh, that doesn't Heroes really make it a Heroes good of the thing. Storm, it just yeah. makes it a yeah. continuously shitty thing. Yeah, I don't like it either, but I guess they have to, so people just don't like put penises on their icons. <laughs> so that's true. You don't have trolls that way. Mm -hmm. Which uh, you know, the icons aren't bad. Like I found oh, one of a little Blizzard. baby something. I don't know what. Blizzard does make some very good art, so I mean. Yes. And it still, you know, it holds up well even in their little avatar things. So, yeah, I mean, it is a bummer, but at the same time, it's like, it's, I guess it's kind of cool, you know, you can unlock all these, all this stuff. It's more stuff to unlock, really. Yeah. You can also do sprays, but you can't submit your own, like, in TF2. 
True, yeah. But their sprays are pretty good. I love my Reaper spray. I am of the cult of Pachimari, the <laughs> onion tentacle thing. Every time I see that, I keep thinking, wait, is Dude Run here? But it's not Dude Run who put up Maybe. <laughs> maybe the cult of Pachimari has grown. Oh, I think it has. And they are with you, and I am with you in spirit. <laughs> always watching, often. always exactly. waiting. Always watching, Overwatch. Always. Who's watching the Overwatchers? I always feel like Isn't that like part of the story, me. who's watching Overwatch? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it but yeah honestly man yeah that game is still great i think i turned level 78 yesterday so Good fuck dude have, you've been playing more than i have yeah i still have a bit a ways to go to get to uh prestige level i'm level 12 in pokemon go <laughs> i'm level 14 and I, I barely play it though I'm level six and I don't play it much anymore. I was I was ranting to dude earlier that I've discovered a lot of um bugs, if you will. I don't know if they're specific to my phone. I don't think so because I've heard some people complain about it, but we're just like swiping doesn't really work well, which is part of one of the battle components. So that's kind of a major annoyance. And then gyms are like a big thing once you get to a certain level and my phone will crash more times than not when you try to open a gym. What? <laughs> so, it, it... Well, I guess not the phone it will crash, but the app will crash. Mm -hmm. So you have to reboot the app, and, you know, it takes, like, almost a minute to boot that app. Jeez. And then you click the gym again, and it just crashes again. That's horrible. I'm like, God damn it. How do you live like that? <laughs> um, angrily. <laughs> I, I can... One of the sources of my rage. Stro has many sources of rage. I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, so. Yeah. Um. And, what uh, else? What else? Loot crate. Sorry, I just I went wayside again. Well, I mean, like the things that you can get from a loot crate, basically, apart from player icons and sprays and skins, are also emotes. So you, when you press a key, it's and a taunts and stuff. It. Yeah. Basically, that's what it is—a taunt. And um, whenever the you, of... let's say you do really well in a game, right? So you did something amazing, or you know, you killed a lot of people, or something in a short amount of time, you get right. this uh, kind of cutscene called the play of the game, which you've probably seen it. Yeah, I know what the play of the yeah. game is. So basically, you get to, you can unlock new intros to that little play of the game thing. So it's just a cool intro of your character doing something different. Yeah, gotcha. I have one of Junkrat trying to throw his little grenade, and then finding out that he only threw it like about a foot, and he yep. can't move because his face is on the ground now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, he, like, tries to throw his bomb, he uh, trips and falls, and the bomb just lands right next to his face. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, and also, awesome. um, also voice lines. Ah, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. You got the little voice lines that you can make your character say. I honestly, I love mine for Reaper. Mine is just simple. It's just one word. It's next, and then that's it. <laughs> It's I like great. the one that's I'm back in black. That one's pretty good too, but it's just I like next because any time that I kill someone, I just always say my voice line and move on to the next target <laughs> and rinse and repeat. Next. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, uh honestly I'm probably gonna end up buying more of those loot boxes. Just Don't saying. do it. It's gonna you happen. get them for free. Yeah, but not fast enough. That's the problem. You get them for free and you develop skill. Not fast enough. You develop skill. I think I've already spent like over a hundred dollars in that game. Good fuck, dude. <laughs> Holy some of that shit. money my way, why don't you? Well, I mean, sixty dollars of that was for the actual game itself. Oh okay, well, fine. still. Okay, Actually, I, I, I can't give you too way. much shit because I've spent I've still spent money on TF2 too. Did you buy a tutu? I was gonna say that's not a thing, but then I realized it's totally, that's totally a thing. thing. <laughs> I want no. the non-Halloween version of Heavy's 2-2. Two -two. 
that would Actually, be I just amazing. want the whole setup so I can just have him say he's the prettiest princess. <laughs> yeah. So we should do that. Um. No, I've just bought a lot of backpack space. I have like a 20 page backpack. I mean, how else am I going to keep all those fucking crates? I still want to win the lottery or just get a really good job one day and just log into TF2 and buy literally 200 keys. <laughs> and then just open all of my crates for like the next two hours. Record a video because that's apparently oh, kind of popular. Would. Yeah. yeah, those are super popular. I don't know why. Like, it's all random chance shit. It is, right? And it's just like, what do you... What but there's really a chance that you might ha watch somebody open something that, you know, I could suddenly earn double my money back. Eh, true. Which I actually... Okay, funny story time. It's only a minute, I promise. Okay, we, I'm, ti okay. I'm counting. Uh, so, counting the, other, seconds. the other day I had to kill time before I could go to the bank because I was up early. And the, I tried to think of something that was open... And the only thing I could think of that was open nearby was the stupid, crazy casino, hard rock, casino thing that's open near me, like, two years ago. Which is a lot of slot machines at the moment, because there's nothing going on in the venue. So I walked in with $10, just to kill time. I walked over to a slot machine that looked good for the bets and stuff that I wanted to make. I put it in, I pulled the lever, and I don't even know how I won, like, what it did yet, but... On a single low, like, minimum bet with it. So it wasn't the whole $10. It was, like, probably 50 cents or something. I won 10 or $15. So I had a... I started with $10, and now I had, like, twenty four fifty. Needless to say, I just cashed out and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> nice. Awesome. I'm I'm never gonna pull that off again, and part of me is like really kicking myself. I'm like, I started with ten dollars. Had I hit like, because you can probably go five times the minimum bet on that machine that I was on, I could have walked out with like seventy dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like, god damn it! And you're twenty six seconds over, but okay. <laughs> but oh, shut up! <laughs> For that, I'm gonna make you watch furry porn. That's not a punishment for me. That's true, it's not. Which, by the way, or anybody listening that's on the Discord server, I do plan to bring back the Not Safe for Work channel. It's going to happen probably in a day or two. For those so. that don't know, uh, Shro's a furry. I'm not, but I appreciate the porn anyway. <laughs> hey, porn is porn. Yes, oh, this is true. Don't even know. So, Starbound, what's up with Starbound? Oh my god. We talked about Starbound. Can we go uh, play Starbound? Like, right after this podcast? Like, um, I don't have time. Down, actually. Actually, um, I don't have time, but you know what? Actually, tomorrow night, if you guys are down for it, if you guys are free, we should play some Starbound. Hell yeah! yeah. No, wait, tomorrow night, Thursday night. Maybe. I do. Hell uh, yeah. Here, this will do be another similar. Times that you're listing. <laughs> we just play Starbound <laughs> forever and ever until the end of time. Just Okay, maybe not. Plug in Starbound for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I, I can't uh, dedicate my channel to nothing but Starbound. I, I need to play can, other games. You can, but you shouldn't. I don't want to. <laughs> you shouldn't. Yeah, you I, shouldn't. But you I, could. I don't have the attention span for just one Welcome game. Welcome to Dude Run Plays Starbound. That's literally all I'm doing for the rest of my life. <laughs> Thanks for watching. 3,432. There's finally mods now. <laughs> so Are you I kidding? There's been mods for that game for like two years. Of Outside of the game, it's amazing. I don't know how I did not get here before. And before you it's... know it, dude is dead from over. Yeah, so, yep. The whole planet is glitchy and cold, and I no matter how much warmth I have on my character, it still kills me. Exactly. Is that a Pick Donkey them. Kong out there? Oh my oh god, my. the lab the level's breaking! Ah! And then oh my god, it's again. split into four. <laughs> he was never seen Full again. of stars. No, no there is so much space. space Odyssey references. Okay. Uh, I need to watch that again. Yes, you do. Actually, no, I need to watch that in general. I haven't seen that before. Wait, what? I haven't seen 2001 A Space Odyssey. Have you seen 2010? No. What? Wait, 20... Oh, wait, no, that's not the thing I'm thinking of. I thought you meant 2012. No, I haven't no. seen 2010. No. Uh, 2010 is the sequel. It's 2010, a year we make contact. 
Yeah, I haven't seen it. I need, it to, I need to go see that, though. Well, alrighty then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so not a movie goer, so but don't anyways, be ashamed. Have you heard about, like, um, Public... all, the, all the bad things that are happening for No Man's Sky? Uh, that, eh, that's I've heard positives and negatives. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to end up being a No Man's Sky hater, and I don't want to be, but I think that's what's going to happen. I'm probably going to try it when when I can catch it on sale, and when my computer is fully running again. Cool. Uh, I'm not gonna spend money on it, but how much only because I can't. I think it's, it's a full 60. price game. I think is it yeah. really? Um, Check well, Amazon. Wow. Well, price. I mean, in Canada here, it's like sixty six fifty. So yeah, that's pretty yep, much full, full price. price. I think that makes it fifty five, sixty dollars here. Sixty dollars in U.S. Yeah, it's like full price. It does look like a very pretty, beautiful game, though. It really does, but the fact that there's no like traditional multiplayer because they market it as being a multiplayer game, but not in the traditional sense of it being multiplayer. Right. Uh, I think that's gonna hurt them in the long run. Yeah, I. But it, and I mean, I give them credit. Good. Like there are long lengthy explanation videos from the developers like actually talking and i think he was barefoot in one which was a little weird but um weird. um i mean they're really sticking to their guns and you know to a degree i give them credit for that like you should stick to your guns stuff but yeah they really got to change the marketing a little bit on something because i mean it reads more like a game that is influenced by what other players have done in it than it does being an actual multiplayer. Like, they should just remove the multiplayer from the marketing and just say that other players influence it somehow in a concise way. Because that's really all it is. It's like, oh, look, I came to this place and tripped over it and somebody's been here before me because their name is plastered everywhere or they found this thing or whatnot and that's cool but that's really the extent of it because the chances that you're going to run into an actual other player are literally like winning the lottery level chances hmm. so yeah Yeah, honestly, I mean, it seems cool, but right now, for me to, you know, purchasing a full-on, full-price well, game? For me, the part of the problem is, is that, like, I grew up with Sims, like, flight sim kind of things, and one of my favorite old games is X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter, and I loved the amount of control you had of the X-Wings and TIE Fighters, and you could, like, adjust your shield modulation, and your, how much nice. power your lasers had, and you know, your speeds, and all sorts of stuff. Um, and that level of flight realism in space has always been a fantasy of mine. So when you get to Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen that are working heavily towards that kind of concept, um, both with their own different ideas and dogmas, um, I mean, that's kind of what I drool over. And then No Man's Sky is kind of pushing itself to be in that same playing field but it's really not because it's a much more cartoony kind of feel if you look at the stuff it reminds me more of minecraft and starbound and how things are just kind of weirdly procedurally generated and all the creatures and the planetary generation of it is just all over the chart and then at the same time the actual flight mechanics of it like they actually uh sell it as a feature and a good point that you can go from planetary surface to out of planetary orbit and go do a, a space battle in like 20 seconds hmm. i'm like that what <laughs> <laughs> It just, it makes it feel like that as large as the universe of the game is, it kind of makes it feel like each of the individual components, the space stations, the planets, the asteroids, and all that, are very small, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. Yeah, so I mean, it's definitely, yeah, I, I do, I do get what you mean. So, I don't know. I, I want to play it, I want to check it out. I'm not sure I'm going to do it at full price. 
because I'm kind of kind of already thinking that I'm not going to be a huge fan of it. I could be totally wrong. It could be like the greatest thing since, you know, Minecraft for a lot of us. Right. You know, I don't know. And I mean, I'm hmm. I could be wrong in this because it was so long ago. I feel like I was skeptical of Minecraft at first. Could be. I know because... a lot of people who were skeptical of Minecraft are like, "What? Really? You're not doing it? You're just building stuff?" Like Right. And, and then, then I, on top I, of that, I it was, you know, them it's into voxels getting the game and... like I like, yeah. And then uh, they just Were you one of the people that forced me into it? I don't remember. No, no, no. no. I, I think I already that. had it. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I that. had it. Okay, now I'm I'm starting as we're talking about it. I was reluctant at first, and it was in the like pre-alpha stages, and you could they were doing crowdfunding to try and get it going, um, but it was kind of a crowdfunding of the game's already there. If you buy it for like five dollars, you'll or ten dollars, you'll have it forever, and always be supported with it kind of thing but it was so young at the time that it was really easy to crack so i didn't follow or do anything with it for like its first known six months or so and then i finally got a cracked version of it i torrented it and okay. i played on that for a long time and then they went alpha and like one or two steps into alpha they basically made it so that the cracked versions wouldn't really work anymore. Um, on top of that, I'd kind of been sold already, so I actually finally bought the real account. I think it was $15 at that point, because mm -hmm. it, it would go up in money the closer they got to the real game. And it was starting to become a really big thing at that point. So I had it, I got my roommate in college to get it, we played together. Um, a bunch of friends and I played on the Reddit server for a long time, which was absolutely massive. I've never seen anything like that since. Um, and then all of IA had it, and we played it with the Tekkit mods. And yeah, it was, Beast mods, it was and definitely was good awesome. times. I know. Yeah, because I recently just bought it for a friend of mine, and I think it was like $30 for the game now. And yeah, I it's probably like say that 30 way. Yeah, 30 I don't see them. I don't see them having a reason for making a game go on sale or anything. No, I mean they made millions and millions of dollars. Oh yeah, and I mean if you don't have you know Minecraft by now, then it's for very specific reasons. I'm sure very few people don't have the game, so that would want it anyways. So yeah, it's yeah, it's uh, and they're still updating it. You know, they're still updating it. It's uh, it's still a very solid game. It holds up well. Oh yeah. So what's this thing about the uh, Pokemon? Oh Is boy, that... um, Pokemon Sun and Moon was announced, and along with a new region called Alola, I think that's how you pronounce it, but. In this region, the some of the Pokemon we know from like Gen 1 and stuff and previous generations, they all look a little different. I have to find a picture uh, of I, I Exeggutor. I glanced at a post of that. Like, I saw it, and it actually... I thought it was yeah. a cool idea. Have so you seen the Alola basically... versions of these Pokemon? Though? Like, I saw the, uh, the Exeggutor one, I think. Oh, God. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> giraffe palm tree hybrid, pretty much, yeah. Honestly, yeah. I'm Wait, is that where that it. fucking meme comes from? Yeah, I'm all down for the. I've uh, that's so actually a thing. For that's that an meme. official thing from the game, <laughs> and it's what? going to be in it. But uh, I'm so confused. Yeah. So this is actually legit. Like it's gonna be in the game. This is legitimate. This is going to be in the game. This is a mechanic. Really, I, I mechanic more like a feature. I don't know. But it's in the game, it's going to be a thing. And there's a lot of other cool ones, like uh, Vulpix and Ninetales are now like solid white and like frosty and stuff. I saw that, yeah, that's amazing. Sandtrue and Sandslash nice. are like crystallized and stuff, it's cool. cool. And then you have Exeggutor. Yeah, and then you have the giraffe. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking giraffe. <laughs> oh man, definitely put that put that link in the show notes, uh, just so people oh, can yeah. see. Oh yeah, I will. Yeah. No, that's, cool. that's pretty cool stuff. Nice. Uh, I so think like, the last oh. Pokemon game I played was Red. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> uh, you suck. 
<laughs> I still need to like finish Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, I never got. I thought to you DS said a racist word at first. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like not what? knowingly anyway. It's horrible. I was about to say Oraz, but like I, I felt like I should have probably explained what those meant. So that is horrible. <laughs> Well, it was good times, for sure. Um, I think that is pretty much all of our topics for today. Except for the raid failure from oh, Shrekmate. Well, yeah. If he oh, wants to talk about that. A, can you give us a brief explanation? What uh, what, what is that about? Raid is not truly no, not... backing... Uh, yeah, go, sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm confused. Which is... <laughs> Anyways, raid is um, something you can do to pr boost the performance of your hard drives by adding more hard drives and getting them to talk to each other in special ways and one of the ways you can t have them talk to each other is they also uh, copy their information to each other so right. if one of the drives happens to just die as hard drives are known to do then your data is duplicated somewhere else and so it's not gone but if your entire machine is you know nuked from orbit caught in a landslide struck with lightning because Zeus is angry, etc., then, you know, all of it's dead and it doesn't matter. So it's not a true backup, but it's something that I've been working to get to that stage. Um, and sure enough, one of my drives failed last weekend. So oh, instead of doing fun things and productive things, um, I had to go track down a hard drive and replace it so that the RAID array could rebuild itself. But it worked, and all of my data is fine. Oh, and cool. even as it was rebuilding itself, I could still use my computer and not have to wait for it to back up before I could use it because that literally takes days. Oh. So yeah, that was that was an interesting experience, but it did exactly what it was supposed to in the event of a drive failure, and it worked wonderfully. So yay! All's well that now I just well. have to. <laughs> the drive that failed has only been in use for about eight months, and it was the drive that I got as a return from Seagate after. Oof. A, another drive that I bought from them was literally dead out of the box. So I sent that in and I got this drive that was a repaired, refurbished drive from Seagate for free because it was an RMA and that's the one that failed. So now I, <laughs> now I have to figure out how to RMA an RMA drive. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know where to begin with this one. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I mean, I'm glad it ended up working out for you in the end. So, yeah. <laughs> and and part of the project list today is to work on the power supply, which is the first step to getting my computer running at full capacity again. Cool. All right. Well, yeah, I think that is we've exhausted all of our topics for this week. Bro, will return! Bro, will return! Bro, will return! I think we're, yeah, we're all going to be returning next week, hopefully, unless if, you know, somebody gets fired. Out of a out cannon. Of a cannon. <laughs> well, I think at this point we need to fire each other out of a cannon because we did fire Brian so hard. Oh yeah, no, for sure. That was slightly, slightly hard. Slightly the, hard? On the bottom. Oh. Oh. You're only, I, say, really, I don't do you're slightly only hard. It's either nice and hard. slow and gentle or it's really, really rough. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. All right, guys. Thank you once again for joining us on the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast. My name is Brian. I've been joined here by Dude Run and Schrodinger's Cat. Hi, and also, what is a pemis? Oh, I don't know. A pemis. It is yeah. a... But I have phalluses for 500 trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. So until next time, we'll catch you around. You know, just, um... What the hell do oh, we do oh, lately? Oh, wait, wait. One more thing. What? It is August 9th, and there's a very special someone who has a birthday today. So happy birthday, um, special someone. All right, special um, someone. Happy birthday. Do we have the... Who? Is anyone's birthday no, actually it. today, or are we just are like? We just no, no, it is it? actually somebody's birthday today. Okay, okay. okay. So, happy birthday, happy someone birthday who has not been announced yet. Cat. Nope. All right. They know who they are. Perfect. Well, I All don't right, know well, who they you. are, so that's a problem. <laughs> thank you so much once again for being He's here, done. guys, and we will see you again next week, hopefully. We right, should. We'll be here. Definitely. Don't don't do that. Until then, you're gonna be here. I'm gonna yeah, drag we're you. We're gonna chains. be here one it's way or happen. another. We will it's drag you kicking, screaming, and it's... like emoing all the way here. <laughs> emoing. emoing. I like emoing, how that got yeah. turned into a verb. It pretty much did. All right. Until next time, have a good one. Keep on. Push the button. We're the IA podcast, and we are out. 
We're going to sleep again. I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> it's like trying to time it with the feet. It's like it's gonna have to, yeah.